All right, so everyone, this is going to be my review of the security umbrella. Now, if you're wondering about the stab vest, I'm going to be making another video pretty much straight after this one. I got this recently, so um, you know, do stay tuned for that one. But this is the security umbrella. Now, I do believe this is a product that is revolutionary for the UK at the very least. Now, you're probably aware, I've said it more than enough times on the channel, you cannot own a single thing in the UK for the sole purpose of self-defence unless you want to get charged with some, some kind of like premeditated offence and god knows what else they love throwing all those things on you but this is plain and simply an umbrella now it's 90 centimeters long it weighs around 700 grams or is it 1.4 pounds in weight so it's a full size umbrella but it's actually quite lightweight it's not over encumbering at all now, this is a mix of materials, for the most part it's a polycarbonate, the shaft running all the way along is polycarbonate, and also, forgive me for the lack of terminology, but the spindles, I believe they're called, that holds the uh, material open, they're polycarbonate as well, now we'll get into why that's important in a minute. The handle, I thought it was plastic myself, but it turns out to be a solid piece of beech that's stained black, and of course the tip on the end is metal. Now, quite a mix of materials in here, but that mix is quite crucial. These umbrellas are virtually indestructible. Now, they can actually hold up the weight of a full-grown man, 120, 120 kilograms. There's pictures on the security umbrella website where you've obviously got you know, the two ends on a piece of cinder block and you've got a pretty beefy looking fella just standing on it. Of course, it flexes because of the polycarbonate shaft, but it's a perfect balance of flexibility, but also rigidity. Now, with this just being an umbrella, you can pretty much pass through any security checkpoint you can imagine. You can board public transport, such as trains, buses, aeroplanes. You can go through government buildings. Nobody's going to look twice at you because it's an umbrella. Now, of course, there are situations where such a good quill, but sorry, such a good build quality, getting me tongue twisted there, on an umbrella can be advantageous. Now, knife crime, gun crime, the likes in the UK is always on the rise. Knife crime, in particular, especially where I'm from more and more people are carrying knives because they're not worried about the consequences because to be completely honest there are no consequences you go to prison and you live a very comfortable life you get three meals a day you can just sit around doing whatever you want and obviously there's no deterrence there's no punishment so people carry knives people commit crimes against innocent people and obviously the police have their hands are tied for whatever the reasons may be so we've got to take our own means to protect ourselves now an umbrella like this, which is built so well, can very easily do that. It may not be a force multiplier, it could be depending on the scenario, but it's most definitely an equaliser. This is not the uh, full demonstration, remember, I will be doing that video at a later date. You can imagine you've got someone coming at you with a knife. A knife is a very short range weapon, it's very situational, you have to get up close and personal to use that knife effectively. Now this umbrella can give you the advantage, with it being 90 centimetres long, and with the um, like the polycarbonate spindles holding the material for the umbrella open, you can actually grip it like so. And if need be, you could use the beach handle as a striking implement. Now, there are numerous ways to do this, and there are, is actually a DVD you can buy from the security umbrella website. And I seriously recommend this DVD. It's a little long-winded, over two hours long, and it is a little expensive, I'll be completely honest but it is seriously worth it. It will show you from the ground up, even if you have no experience, how to properly use, how to properly use this, sorry I should say, in a defensive situation. Now, as I say, someone's coming at you with a knife. This gives you a crucial range extension to be able to attack, well, defend yourself from an attacker. Now, the beach end on it is pretty heavy and it's absolutely solid. So you can obviously start to swing, obviously after warning them first, and they are not going to be able to do much about that. Obviously, they're going to try and block it, which then puts them on the defensive, so you can then go in on the offensive. So if they've got a knife, they've got to get up and close and personal. You can obviously strike in multiple areas on the body. But also, that's not your only way of retaliating. The metal tip on the end can also be a good force multiplier. Obviously, they're coming at you. You can poke in various areas. But also, if you need to, say you're in a grappling situation, you can use the metal end, say they've grabbed you from behind, you can poke from behind. That's especially useful for women because they don't have the upper body strength to get out of a grapple, especially if it's done by a man. So you can poke from behind. But also, if someone's coming at you with a knife and you desperately need to put some space between you, you can obviously assume a defensive position and then deploy the umbrella as so. Now, it's not a perfect countermeasure, 
but it does put some space between you and the attacker. They're coming at you with a knife. You can obviously jab and retaliate. The extra space will give you a little bit of breathing room, so you can then advance if need be, and obviously continuing to jab. If this doesn't deter the attacker, then obviously you may have to take some extra measures, and I will show what you could possibly do in the um, full demonstration video later on. But yeah, this umbrella is very flexible, it allows you to do very different, a lot of different manoeuvres and you know, there are a lot of possibilities you could possibly protect yourself with this. Now, I do personally believe these umbrellas are seriously worth it. They start around £80 I think for the cheaper ones and they do, you know, they go up and up to about £150. There are many different styles. You can buy them in this configuration which is pretty standard, but you can also buy ones for women. You can buy smaller ones, which are more suitable for public transport, you know, like trains and whatnot. And I do think if you are going to buy one of these, you will benefit from getting the DVD as well. Now, there will be a link in the description to the English version of their website, which is www.securityumbrella. I believe it's .eu. If it's not that, I will put an annotation in to correct that. But I have to say, this umbrella is a definite recommended product for me. And I'm not just saying that because they're being sent out. I mean, personally, I am going to use this myself. And if I don't end up using it as frequently as I'd like, I will more than likely give it to my mum to use. Obviously walking to and from work, it's always good to have something like this in such a high crime area. So again, just to reiterate, someone's coming at you. You can use the beach end as a striking implement in more ways than one. But also if required, you can jab with it as well. Now, I do hope it wasn't too long-winded. And I do hope you do watch the um, full demonstration video. As I say, it will be full contact. And it more than likely will be quite amusing, but it hopefully should highlight some defensive positions and stances that you could possibly use in an attack. So um, yeah, that's the full review of this security umbrella. I can't recommend it enough. Thank you for watching.